what's amazing is that they would be more comfortable that all these journos, that Zucker himself, I'm sure if you ask, would be more comfortable if there was not a single news outlet in the country that represented the basic political beliefs of half the country and that, that, and that half the country that is Republican should be forced to choke down, to stomach the garbage that is peddled by, we're going to talk about conspiracy theorists. What about Rachel Maddow's show? Crazy conspiracy theory stuff every night. Ooh, and then there's, we're doing this long monologue and this thing about Russia and that thing and this oligarch and that person. And, and it never goes anywhere. It's just all hocus pocus. It's all just the, the nonsense magic show. It's true of all these MSNBC shows. Oh, the walls are closing in on Trump any moment now. If they consider themselves journalists, they really think that it would be a better... And just look at it from the, from the point of view of the national political discussion. They really think it would be better if there wasn't a single channel that truly represented Donald Trump's, not just point of view, the political party. And I don't even think... I mean, there are people... Look, at Shep Smith just left Fox News. Shep Smith was a liberal, right? That This is understood... By the way, Jeff Zucker was saying in an interview this week as well that he might try to hire Shep Smith. So that tells you a lot. Yeah, Shep, Shep Smith is a liberal. I know he's a newsman, but he's a liberal. It's very obvious from the way, from what what upsets him, the way he covers things. It's quite clear what his political inclinations were. And I would just note, who is the, who is the pro-Trump conservative that has any visibility in their own show at CNN? The answer is nobody. Who's the pro-Trump conservative who has any visibility in their own show at MSNBC? The answer is nobody. And don't even get me started on like ABC and CBS and, and NBC, the big NBC. Uh, they, they don't even make a, they don't even make an effort. No pretense that both sides of that perspective would be given. They want to go back to an era of total left-wing information dominance. That's what they would like to do. And the fact that they haven't been able to do it is obviously a source of constant frustration. I mean, I think what Zucker was saying here about Fox is unfair and wrong and really petty and shows you what kind of person we're dealing with here, a, a petty and, and nasty person, um, to say that everybody in that – there are plenty – I know liberals who work at Fox. There are plenty of liberals who work at Fox, actually. Uh, I know very few conservatives who can work at CNN, and they are conservatives that would never tell a soul at work that they are conservative because they know what the ramifications of that could be. Anyway, this this is just a it's a moment where you look at the media climate, and it's also why I have no, I have no uh, problem being particularly harsh about CNN because the place has completely lost its mind, and from the top down, they're saying they're saying terrible things about other journalists that are unfair, they're maligning other people in their industry, they're doing it because they've got Trump derangement syndrome and everything is about Trump, they've destroyed whatever credibility CNN has. I mean, I, I'm at a point now where when someone tells me they think CNN is an objective news source that's just doing journalism, I think less of their perceptive abilities. I just think that they're not particularly bright. I, I've reached that point. I don't know what else to say. Or maybe they just don't know because they don't watch much and they see it just in the airport. But for somebody who watches it every night, for somebody who is a, a committed CNN watcher to think that what they're getting is not a constant stream of anti-Trump propaganda is uh, an absurdity. I mean, I'm not even... I don't even see it as a... Um, alternate viewpoint of the situation. I view it as just kind of crazy. That's where we are. So you have, you have uh, over there Brian Stelter who's uh, doing whatever he's told to do and he's got his own show though and uh, he's really top journalist. You know, here's another, who's the big intellect over at CNN? Who, who's, the, who's the really impressive figure? I will say this. Rachel Maddow is very smart. I watched enough, heard enough, read enough. She's a, she's a smart lady. Fine. Disagree with her. Think she panders to her audience. Whatever. She's not. She's, she's, a, she's a smart lady. Who's supposed to be the... You know, you have a lot of kind of glorified, you know, Saks Fifth Avenue models on TV over at, uh, over at CNN. Not a lot of intellectual firepower over there. I'm just going to say it. A lot of guys who kind of look the part. I'm a newsman. And you're like, well, okay. So What? I'm just, it's not an impressive bunch. Not a, it's very self righteous and sanctimonious. Not an impressive bunch at all. 